be sure to subscribe for more content. So Luna Classic had a massive pump over the past month with over a seven times gain in the space of just a few weeks. And in this video, I want to answer, can Luna Classic reach $1? And if so, how long would it take to get there? Now, normally this would be quite a silly question given the current price at the moment of 0 0.0002879. For it to hit, to hit $1, it would need to approximately 3,800x from here, meaning that if you invest $1 now, that would be worth $3,800 if this price ever got to $1. And of course, the market cap right now is $1.7 billion. For, so for it, so for Terra Classic, to hit the one dollar mark we would need a market cap of 8.5 trillion which sounds silly given the market cap of the whole crypto market at the moment sits under one trillion but the special thing about luna classic is they've just approved a 1.2 percent burn tax which means that for every buy and sell transaction of luna classic 1.2 percent of that transaction will be withheld and burnt to reduce the supply now the supply currently sits at 6.151 trillion luna classic and that was the major issue with luna classic in the first place that the supply inflated from around 300 million to 6.5 trillion roughly roughly 20,000 percent increase of supply which obviously tanked the price so given that everything else remains equal, if the supply is burnt and reduced, then the price should go up. And so $1 Terra Luna Classic seems a lot more realistic. And now I'm gonna be calculating in this video how, how long it will take to hit that $1 mark given the current data that we have. If you do like this video, hit the like button for me and hit the subscribe. So the exact percentage of that would be this number, one divided by this number. So if we just do that, here right now just to show you how many x's that would be if luna was to go back to the one dollar mark so that would be 3456 times the current price that it's at if luna classic were to get back to one dollar so in theory we would need this circulating supply of 6.151 trillion luna classic to be divided by this number here three thousand four hundred and fifty six to give to give us the total supply that would take us to one dollar luna classic and of course guys this assumes that the terra luna classic price is proportional to the circulating supply so for example if the supply halved right now then the terra classic price should double of course in real life could happen but it wouldn't be an instantaneous thing it would happen over the longer run but in this calculation, we're just assuming that if supply were to decrease, the price would simultaneously increase. And of course, we're going to take an average volume as well. Obviously, the volume is very important because the more volume there is, the more the 1.2% burn tax is applied to all those buy and sell transactions and the quicker the circulating supply gets burnt. And therefore, the quicker we will hit that $1 Luna Classic that we're all waiting for. And of course, this also assumes that every single buy and sell transaction that constitutes this volume here is subject to that 1.2% burn tax. Of course, this is in a perfect world and I don't think everywhere will have this 1.2% burn tax, but it seems like the major exchanges where people go to buy and sell Luna Classic are supporting this 1.2% burn tax. But for the purposes of this video, we're assuming that every single tra transaction is burnt. So we take this average volume here over the past 24 hours, which is 606 million. And obviously this is the total volume across all exchanges that support a loop. And that includes centralized exchanges like Binance and KuCoin, as well as centralized exchanges or DEXs as well. So we take this volume here of $608 million, and then we divide it by the current price of Luna Classic up here to give us how many Luna Classic tokens are being transacted every single day so we go 608 million dollars divided by 0 0.0002900 and so we get this number here which is 2 trillion 96 billion 551 million 724,138 luna classic tokens that are being transacted every single day and that is the 24 hour volume in luna classic token terms now if we times that by 0.012 which will give us how many tokens will be taken as the 1.2 percent burn tax so we have to do this times 
like such and that will show us that every single day every single day 25 billion 158 million 620 thousand 690 lunar classic token will be taken out of circulation so we're gonna bear in mind will be taken out of circulation and burnt therefore reducing the supply every single day by 25 billion tokens so we'll save this number and we will come back and so basically what we have now is we have the circulating supply of 6.151 trillion we have a target supply of around 1.7 billion which is just the total supply divided divided by luna's target price of one dollar divided by luna's current price of this so this number here divided by 3448 and that gives us this target supply of 1.7 billion we know that on average around 25 billion luna classic tokens will be burnt daily so all we need to do now is get this number take away the target supply put that in brackets and then divide it by the amount of luna tokens that will be burnt daily to give us a number of days that the price could hit one dollar for luna classic and that number is 244 days and yes you're seeing that right 244 days for luna classic to hit one dollar given the circumstances that we talked about before and now those circumstances are of course if the 1.2 percent burn tax applies to a hundred percent of buy and sell transactions everywhere in the world which of course is pr very unlikely if for example 1.2 percent burn tax was nearer 50 percent and the other then of course this number would double so that would be 488 days and of course as i say it also so assumes that if the supply reduces then the price increases at the same time which is obviously not true it's all based on supply and demand so we should see the price go up in the long term if supply goes down but of course it's all down to investors perceptions on luna classic and obviously this could take some time to shift so there will be a lag between the supply reducing and the price going up because of that. But all in all, that is extremely bullish. 244 days is around eight months. So if this burn tax comes in tomorrow with the parameters talked about, then by May or June next year in 2023, we could see Luna Classic hit $1. Now, of course, there's some things now so of course there's some things the community can do as well to get this number up quicker so of course now of course one way would be to increase that volume so at the moment the 24 hour volume is 608 million if people create more utility around the unit classic so that people more people transact with it such as you know an nft marketplace or something where people use luna classic to buy and sell stuff then this will increase the volume and therefore the more the volume goes up the more the more transactions are burnt and therefore the less amount of days is required to hit that one dollar mark and of course another parameter is if the price were to increase so of course the supply is decreasing but if the price were were to increase more relative to the supply then this would also shorten the amount of days it would take to hit that one dollar lunar classic price so pretty startling numbers i this is the first time that i've done this calculation myself so i'm honestly quite speechless at that number there that is not a lot of time whatsoever for a 3400x return but of course there are some conditions to that so that's pretty much all i have to say in this video let me know in the comments by the way if there's anything you would correct about this calculation that i have done anything that i may have missed out your opinions and thoughts on this calculation here and of course if you haven't done so already be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel otherwise thank you so much for watching this video guys i'll see you all in the next